Hi, so for today, we are going to talk about the synthetic division uh, algebra. This is a part of engineering mathematics study, and this is also useful in the board exam and also for those who are taking algebra or engineering mathematics. So let's get started by dividing this given uh, polynomial to another x plus 3. So the key here in synthetic division is that we have to take note with the constant or the coefficients of each of the excess term as well as the constant. So if you're going to rewrite, we have x raised to 4. The coefficient of x raised to 4 is 1. And then for x cubed, it should be descending. Okay? So it should be uh, chronologically descending. Okay? So even though we don't have x cubed here, it should be still considered. So if we don't have x cubed here, so the coefficient would be 0. We have x squared. That's negative 10. We have uh, x as negative 2. And then we have the constant. Okay, The constant term is 4. So, yeah. After we doing that, we have to... What? We have to um, write it here. So, we have... x For x raised to 4, we have 1 as coefficient. For x cubed, we have 0 because we don't have any x cubed here. So take note that is what you should do even though there is no x cubed. So you have to consider it. So you have to uh, go down chronologically okay, uh, with the uh, adjacent uh, next exponent, okay, which is x cubed. So if it is none, it's not existing, so then it is 0. So we have x squared, that's negative 10, the co coefficient. And we have for x, that's negative 2. And we have constant 4. So the device or the, uh, the ones we are going to divide is x plus 3. So x plus 3 should be equated to 0 and get the value of x. x equals negative 3. So this should be your uh, x value here. So the very first thing you're going to do is you're going to bring down the very first one. So you have 1. After which, we are going to multiply 1 with the negative 3. So that must be negative 3 here. 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. Then add. 0 plus negative 3 is negative 3. Doing the same process all over again, we have negative 3 times negative 3. We know that that is positive 9. So that's, that becomes 9. And we add negative 10 plus 9 would be negative 1. So negative 1. So negative 1 times negative 3. Same process, okay, until you reach the uh, end. So negative 1 times negative 3 would be positive 3. Negative 2 plus 3 would be positive 1. Then, of course, lastly, we have 1 times negative 3. So that would be, what? Negative 3. And then we add here, 4 plus negative 3 or 4 minus 3, that is 1. So we have already divided. So since we only get the coefficients here, the resulting numbers here are also coefficients. So since it is x raised to 4 and divided by 1x, the coefficient now here, the number 1 here would be the coefficient of x cubed. And here is x squared. And here is the coefficient of x. And this is the constant. And the very last term is the remainder. Okay? He is, he is the remainder. We have a remainder of 1. So now, if we're going to rewrite this, we'll be having what? 1 is the coefficient of x cubed. So that would be x cubed. Negative 3 is the coefficient of x squared. So that must be negative 3x squared. And negative 1 is the coefficient of x. That's negative x. And we have a constant positive 1. And since we have a remainder, okay, since a positive value, okay, we have plus 1 divided by the original uh, divisor. We have x plus 3. x plus 3. And this is now the answer when we divide x raised to 4, okay, x raised to 4 minus 10x squared minus, uh, minus 2x plus 4 by x plus 3. So this will be your answer. In the event that the remainder is 0, there will be no term like this here. Okay? There will be no like term here because it will be here. And if the remainder is 0, then meaning the ones that we divided, 
okay? The ones that we use for divide for division is a factor. Okay, so I hope that is clear. So let's go now to number two in order for us to really understand this. So how are we going to um, divide this by x minus two using the synthetic division? Same process. So we have to take note of the uh, coefficient of the x cubed, x squared, and x, and as well as the constant. So x cubed would be 1, x squared would be 2, and x will be negative 5, and the constant is negative 6. So taking note of the x minus 2, we should equate it into 0. So we have x equals 2. So writing the constants, okay, so we have 2 uh, is our divisor. Then we have 1, 2, negative 5, and negative 6. So take note, this is complete in the sending order. We have 3, 2, 1, and the constant here. So yeah, that's 1, 3, 1, 2, negative 5, and negative 6. So the very first thing we're going to do is to bring down this 1. So we have 1. 1 times 2 is 2. We add those 2. 2 plus 2 would be 4. Okay, let me just rewrite. So we have 1, 4. 4 times 2 would be 8. Negative 5 plus 8 would be positive 3. Okay. So after which, we have positive 3 multiplied by 2. So that would be 6. And we add negative 6 plus 6, that is 0. Which means that x minus 2 is a factor of the numerator. Okay, so it's a factor. So since we have a remainder of 0. Okay. So what will happen is that since we divided x cubed with another x, this should be the coefficient of x squared. It's reduced no? instead of x cubed. This should be the coefficient of x, and this should be the constant. And our remainder again is 0 because x minus 2 is a factor of x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6. So, again, we have an answer that is x squared plus 4x plus 3. And that is the result when we divide these two. Okay, so let's try to solve another one. We have this one. Just copy this. So we have 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 2x plus 3. We are going to divide it by x minus 3 halves. Okay? So it's possible to have a coefficient that is a fraction. Okay? x minus 3 halves. So how are we going to do it? First, write the coefficients of the numerator for x cubed, for x squared, for x, and for constant. Okay, so for x cubed, we have 2. For x squared, we have negative 3. For x, we have negative 2. For constant, we have positive 3. And of course, we have to equate the denominator by 0 and then get the x. So we have transposing it on the right side. We have positive 3 halves. x equals positive 3 halves. So using the synthetic division, we have 3 halves here. And then we have 2, negative 3, negative 2, and 3. So bring down the first one. So if we bring this down, we have 2. Then go, we're going to multiply it by 3 halves. So 2 times 3 halves, 2 times 3 halves. The 2's will cancel, so you are left with 3. We add this 2, so that would be 0. Okay? Then 0 multiplied by 3 halves would be 0. And then we add this, this would be negative 2. And lastly, if you're going to add this, okay, if you're going to multiply, I mean, this negative 2 to 3 halves, so you have negative 2 times 3 halves, this will cancel, leaving the negative. So we have negative 3. So we have negative 3 in here. So that, guys, if we are going to add negative 3, Positive 3 plus negative 3, it's effectively saying as 3 minus 3. So that would be 0. So we have here the coefficient of 
x squared since we divide x cubed by x. So this would be x squared. The coefficient of x and what? The constant. And the remainder is 0. That is 0. So now we have a value of 2x squared plus 0x minus 2. Or in other words, 0x is 0, so we have 2x squared minus 2. So if we divide 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 2x plus 3 to x minus 3 halves, the resulting value is 2x squared minus 2. So let's go with another problem. I think this would be the last. So we have number 4. We have 4x cubed minus 2x plus 3 all over x plus 1. So again, we are going to write first the uh, coefficients. I can go directly into writing this. So we have uh, x plus 1 should be equated to 0. So we get an x value of negative 1. So we have negative 1 here. And as for our x cubed, it's 4. x squared. Do we have x squared on the numerator? We don't have. So we have to write it as 0. So this is the coefficient of x squared. How about x? Do we have? Yes. We have negative 2 as the coefficient. And finally, the constant is 3. So again, bring down 4. So we have 4 multiplied by negative 1, it's negative 4. Plus 0 my, plus negative 4 is still negative 4. And then of course, we multiply negative 4 to the negative 1. Negative times negative becomes positive. So this becomes positive 4. So negative 2 plus 4 would be 2. Okay, And then 2 times the negative 1 would be negative 2. We add by 3. Okay? 3 plus negative 2. 3 plus negative 2 would be 1. So again, since we have x cubed, we have divided by 1x. So our coefficient here, this would be x squared. This would be the coefficient of x. This would be the constant. And this would be the remainder. So our answer for this would be 4x squared minus 4x plus 2. Then since we have a remainder that is not equal to 0, we have plus 1 all over x plus 1. So that's how we divide using the synthetic division. And I hope you learned something new for our lesson in engineering mathematics or algebra. If you like this video, if you find this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share it with your friends who are having a struggle with synthetic division. So thank you so much, guys. If you wish to have uh, find more tutorials in engineering and mathematics, please don't forget to browse my videos. I have numerous tutorials in calculus, differential equations, advanced mathematics, and even in other engineering subjects. So thank you so much. And this is this is synthetic division. Division by synthetic division. And this is Engineer Abad. See you again on the next video.